Hello, hello, it's Kate Bolt, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator here in the UK, back for another Stamp Around the UK video hop. We are a collaborative of UK Stampin' Up! Demonstrators, bringing you a whole host of projects for your crafty inspiration. Now this month, our theme is a colour one, and we have a challenge to use three of our neutral shades and one bright. So you can see in our neutrals, we've got quite a few colours, but we've got some choices, not just uh, sort of greys and uh, the, the browns and things. So we've got a few choices in there. We need three of those and a bright. So these are our brights. So we have lots of choice here, loads of brights. So each colour family has 10 colours in it. So let me show you what I came up with for this month's hop. Now, I wanted to use this gorgeous stamp set. This one was my absolute favourite when it came out and I used it and used it and used it and used it and then it sat on the shelf for a while so I thought this would be perfect for this hop, for this for this card. I'm going to make a, uh, a get well card because it's got this beautiful sending healing thought sentiment on there and this gorgeous dome flower as well. So let me show you what I decided on. Right, I have got some white for stamping. Now, the colours that I went for, I went for Night of Navy. And then for my bright, I have gone for Daffodil Delight because I love the blue and yellow together. And then just to make it pop, I've sandwiched a panel of white in the middle. Now, when I pop this on my blog, I will show, I'll have all the measurements for you. And I've just got a couple of millimetres there to make that uh, yellow pop like that. So that's my my um, my card base in layers. And then I've got a wisp of white layer inside uh, for my sentiment. Okay, now let me show you what I'm going to do. I have got a piece for stamping on. My grid paper's moving around. I think I'll stick it down a little bit, stop it moving. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to stamp. This stamp set has a die set with it as well, so I'm going to use them both. I'm going to stamp this great, big, beautiful, lovely cone flower image. And I think I'm going to stamp it in soft suede. Um, it's not quite as harsh as black. I think it makes a softer image. I tried it in early espresso, but it was a bit harsh, a bit too much to colour uh, with the pens. So I will do it in the soft suede and I'll show you how I manage that. So I'm just gonna do it here. I'm going to cut it out. So the placement doesn't really matter, okay? So it gives you this really attractive kind of soft brown stamped image. And then I've taken two colors. So in our uh, brights, we've got the Daffodil Delight that we're using for the card layer. As our bright so I've taken the blends in Daffodil Delight and I've got light and dark and then one of our other neutrals is a green called Mossy Meadow and I've decided to pop that in there too so um, so here it is in our neutrals Mossy Meadow so I'm going to use that one as uh, my other neutral colour so I've got Night of Navy and Mossy Meadow I want to colour in this and I'll show you how I colour it in but I won't keep you I won't uh, colour it all in because I've made one ready to go. So I tend to pick out where I think the darker shade would be and go over that first. And then I blend in the lighter shade when I'm using these lovely stamping blends. These are alcohol-based markers and they blend beautifully. And they come in a pack of two of the same colour, so two different shades, light and dark. So you can have this beautiful gradient so and then i'm going to do the leaves the same kind of way so here we go just going to pick out the bits that would be a little bit darker and then go over that with the light shade some people do it the other way around you there is no real right or wrong so do it how you want and just make sure you blend that in so there's no harsh lines in your colouring. <laughs> it's very therapeutic to sit and colour. So I then grab the dies that go with this set. And the dies are amazing because you get a lot in there. Look at all these. These are the Harvest dies. And they go with the Nature's Harvest stamp set. And this one cuts out this stamp there. 
And then you have this one that's a standalone, this one that's a standalone. This one is beautiful because it kind of embosses the, the dome flower when it cuts it out. Um, this one also stands alone. And then you have these and this long one also. So this one will cut out this long sentiment. This one cuts out the good luck. And then this one cuts out this lovely little flower just here. And then you have like a texture stamp. So that's the dies. I'm going to be using the one for the sentiment and the one for this. Okay. Oh, and I'm going to be using those two as well. Might as well use them all. So I've already cut out and coloured in my cone flower exactly the same. So proper old fashioned Blue Peter way. I've got one I made earlier ready. Okay, so let's put that to the side. And I'm going to stamp my yellow piece. So Daffodil Delight, and I'm going to bring in the Daffodil Delight ink pad as well. And I'm going to do a tone on tone stamp. So um, it's the same colour ink pad as is on the same colour card. I'm just going to click at my chamois and clean my, my, um, my stamp. There we go. So here we go. And I just need to adjust my camera a second. Do apologise. It's giving me a, a message. There we go. Let's bring it back in. Without cutting you off, that'll be good. There we go. Okay, so tone on tone, that's where I was. You can achieve the same effect as this or a similar effect as this by using a Versamark ink pad, which is like a clear ink that's not sticky, but you, you put embossing powder on it generally and it clings to that, but you can use it on its own and make up a watermark, but I'm just going to use, actually I need to keep that open, I'm just going to use this, the tone on tone stamping like this, and you'll see the effect, it's really pretty. I'm just going to stamp all the way along. It doesn't kind of matter, I can do some higher and some lower. And it's really beautiful. I love this stamp set. I'd forgotten how much I loved it. And I think it's perfect for any time of the year. Okay. There we go. So we've got that on there. Oh, I could have done that a bit further down, but that's all right. Okay, let me move that one out of the way. Um... I might put that on there a bit more and cover that bit up at the bottom. A bit more on there like that. There we are. So that's that. Okay, so we've got that done. Now the next thing to do is to bring in our cone flower like this. Now my third colour from the neutrals, I've gone for granite grey granite so let's have a look we have got grey granite and i'm using mossy meadow and knight of navy so i've got a piece of the grey granite shimmer ribbon and i'm going to attach that to my project let's have a go at that and see what that looks like so i just want enough to go around it or to the side i think so let's do that my scissors. You can take a bit of double-sided tape. I've got a little bit of washi tape handy. I'm just going to use that as it's handy. Look, I've been stamping on the other side. Oh, I stamped up in the air there too. Was that? Yeah, how funny. <laughs> Didn't even notice. Does not matter. Okay, I'm gonna stick that down, make sure it's straight. There we go. Now, I'm not a bow person generally. Sometimes I put a little bow on, but generally I like a knot, which I'm gonna go for today. So it's not too fussy. Now, I like doing it this way, so I've got a piece going 
piece going this way and then the knot on top. And it means I can move the knot up and down on top of the long piece where I want it to sit at the end. So I'm going to leave it like that until I've got it all composed and I know what I'm doing. So I've got my cone flower like that. Now, have you seen this vellum that we've got in there? It's called the Vellum Layering Designs and it's a big pack of vellum, but it has designs on it. Now, it's amazing. There's a big pack of 12 and you get it in designs in black and white. And this one has a white print all over it. So I grabbed some scraps of mine and I cut out some of the grasses to give it a bit of extra texture and a bit of interest in the vellum. So I've got a bit of vellum and white there. Cut out two of them and they're going to sit on here. That's the idea. And then I cut out the other using the other kind of twiggy die. I cut it out in a scrap of the mossy meadow cardstock, and all that is going to sit on here like so. And this is going to go on the top. So that's how that's going to sit. So I just need to arrange it a little bit. So, how I want it to look like that. So, nothing stuck down yet. And then I've got a scrap of card and I'm going to stamp the sentiment on. Okay, now I've got the sentiment. I've chosen sending healing hugs. May nature's beauty bring peace to your soul. Okay, and I'm going to use the mossy meadow. Now I have, oh, perhaps I should use Knight of Navy. Uh, I think I'll grab it and see what that looks like. Mossy Meadow, but I think this might tie in with the card base really well. Right, here we go. I'll wipe this stamp off with my chamois. If you haven't got a chamois, <laughs> you need a chamois because they're amazing. Right, okay, let's ink that one up. I'm green, look. I just got green ink. I was re-inking my mossy meadow ink pad before I uh, did the video. So yeah, I'm now covered in it by the looks. Let's <laughs> hope I didn't spread it everywhere. Okay, let's stamp this sentiment right in the middle. Because I'm going to cut it out. As long as I don't get it all over me, I'll be happy. Right, so let's do that. So... Let's pop the die on there that fits perfectly around it. Grab a little bit of that washi tape again. There we are, I don't want to cut any of it off. I'm going to pop it through my cutting machine. Make sure it's straight. More haste, less speed. It's definitely not straight. Let's see if I can get it in here. Need another piece of washi tape. I think that's what it is. I'll help. Okay, let's go for it. There we go. How beautiful is that font? So, so pretty. Look at that. So gorgeous. And that's going to go on the front of there. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut, let's grab my big scissors. Because they are super sharp. I need to sharpen my snips. We are going to stick it all together in a minute. I'm just deciding exactly how it's going to look. So let's put this on here. Grab my glue basket. We had a big team day yesterday, so I've been out and I've taken all of my adhesives and everything out of my craft room. <laughs> so I had to just bring it all back and pop it all away and find it again. So I've done that. <laughs> 
So one piece of Whisper White that is slightly smaller than the base, very slightly smaller. Oh, so, so, so much. There we are. And then we're going to put this one on. Now I put the ribbon on, I can put this one on. I know who I'm sending this card to. Here we go. Like that. Okay, now this is the fun part. Deciding where everything's going to go. I'm obviously going to cut the ends of this. They're not going to be that tall. So I think I'm going to put a little bit of um, seal on these. I think that will be good enough, to be honest. I'll end up with it all over my grid paper. But as it's going, when I finish with it, this one, I'm happy. Oh, I think I've done it back to front. Never mind. We'll put that one on first. <laughs> put the glue on the wrong side of that one. Okay, but not this one. Hooray. Okay. Put that one on there. That's going to go on the top. Stuck to me. Right, a bit on this one. Let's make sure I have it the right way. Would have been just as well to use some Tombow, I think, but this will be fine. There we go. That's it. So decide how you want it to look. Pop it all on. Right, I'm going to use some dimensionals on the back of the actual dome flower one. So grab some of the mini, mini ones, I think. So I can pop it in the stem area. And then put there. And here, and then maybe two big ones on the top. Take all the backs off. There we go. Oh, come on, off we go. There we are. So raise that up like that. And you've got that glued down. Now, this is the fun bit. I'm going to go along the bottom of my card. Chop them off. There we are. Oh, one bit. And this, there we go. So there's that. Now we need our sentiment, which we've already cut out. And I'm going to pop it here like that. So let's grab some of the, more of those mini ones. I could have used those ones, but I'll use the mini ones. So look at where it's going to go. I know it's going to go over the top of this flow, which is already held up with mini with a uh, dimensional. So I'm going to put them all along this end. To keep it at the same height and then I'm going to pop a little bit of adhesive on the end here which is rolling there we are <laughs> this is fun and I'm keeping it short try to keep it really short <laughs> here we go sending healing thoughts there we go. So that's the outside of the card. And then I think what we will do next is grab the big stamp, 
grab that soft suede and stamp it on the inside. I'm not going to colour it in. I just like that image. I really like that kind of drawn flower image. If you want to colour it in, it's perfectly fine. Um, definitely do that if you want to. It's yours. And then I'm going to stamp the same sentiment inside the Get Well one. Make sure it's straight. Like that. Nice. And we can put that inside and get rid of this grid paper. Use my stamp and seal adhesive. It's my favorite adhesive at the moment. Absolutely lovely. So there we have our card. And I did get out some of the, try and say this, brushed brass butterflies to pop on this card. I think they're really beautiful. So I'm gonna put a couple of these on. Put one here. Love the sentiment. Ooh, one flew off. I might put some of the smaller ones on actually. The one that flew away. Put that one there. And we can put another one down here. There we go. And that's our card for the Stamp Around the UK video hop this month with a three neutrals and a bright colour challenge. And I made a Get Well card and I hope you love it. I really like this. I think it's quite calm, even though the bright yellow is really, really bright. It's cheerful and yet calming at the same time. I hope you enjoy it. So I will put all the links to all the other people taking part in the video hop in the description bar down below. Do go down there, click the links, have a look at their videos and give them some love. That would be amazing. And if you've liked this video, please leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, you can find all the products that I've used in today's video over in my shop at katebolt.stampinup.net. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.